My grandmother was an awesome lady. Her name was Shirley Jarvie and she was born in Elgin, Illinois. She was the middle child and had an older brother named Arthur and a little sister named Carol. Her father was a soldier in World War I and became ill when she was five, so he was sent to Fort Whipple, where the Veteran Hospital in Prescott, Arizona was located. Her father passed away several years later. Her family stayed in Arizona, and she graduated from Prescott High School. In high school, my grandmother participated in many school activities. She lettered in badminton and softball. She also played the flute, oboe, and piccolo, and was a baton twirler and for the school band. After high school, my grandma attended ASU and majored in education. She was so smart that she graduated and received her degree in just three years. During her last semester at ASU, she was assigned to a third grade classroom in Tempe for her student teaching. Her mentor teacher turned out to be a young man named Neil Jarvie. She found herself very attracted to him and she found out that the feelings were mutual and they were married before the school year was over. Her husband's teaching took them from Tempe to Gilbert and then to Mesa where their three children were born. So she became a stay at home mom. Her husband became an elementary school principal for a number of Mesa public schools. After her children were grown and raised, my grandma took up an interest in weaving. She eventually became co-owner of the largest yarn shop in the Southwest called the Fiber Factory, located on Main Street in downtown Mesa. After all of her grandchildren were born, my grandma wanted to be the best grandma she could be, so she retired from the Fiber Factory and became a full-time grandma. She attended all of our swim meets, baseball games, softball games, cheer competitions. She was always there for us no matter what. My grandma was an inspiration to all who came into contact with her and she will be deeply missed.